We're filling the entire community with not so nice weather. Now, some spots have rain. You can see this is largely focused along I-70 coming out of Waynesburg, Uniontown, back towards Bedford. So this is where we have the steadiest of the rain. Some sprinkles still trying to hang on, but a lot of that's ground clutter up uh, towards Pittsburgh. So generally, we're drying out tonight for a little bit. And you can see the mostly cloudy skies that we have in Pittsburgh at this point. 52 degrees still hanging on, though. So our temperature is still a little mild at this point, but they're going to start to fall off. And once they do, we're not going to rebound for some time. Winds right now out of the north-northwest, 7 miles per hour, so a cooler breeze. And you can see that cooler breeze is putting those northern communities into the lower 40s. So Youngstown, Franklin, lower 40s there, 45 Clarion. By the time you get to Cranberry, the temperature is a little closer to 50, upper 40s for Beaver Falls, Newcastle, and Catanning. But Cranberry, 50 degrees, and the low 50s for, for Greensburg, Connellsville, mid-50s, Waynesburg, and Morgantown. And these are temperatures that we're going to wish for as we head into the next couple of days. So right now it's scattered rain showers. We look back to the west. We see the clouds pushing in far left side of your screen. You're going to see that rain inching in uh, through uh, Illinois, pushing towards Indiana. That's what's on the way for us. And what's going to happen is, first and foremost, we've had this cold front slowly draping across the area, but it's stalling out. That's why we still have those temperatures from the low 40s up north to the mid 50s. But by the time you get down into Morgantown. That front's going to stay in place while this moisture starts to ride along it. And once this moisture starts to interact with that colder air, and once our temperatures actually start to fall off tomorrow, late afternoon and evening, we're going to mix in a little snow. Pittsburgh is not looking at really anything accumulation, little to no accumulation. And by little, I mean, if we're lucky, a tenth of an inch the way it looks. But uh, we haven't been able to pull off a tenth of an inch or more since 1966 during the month of May. Now, this low is going to continue to move on. Still some scattered light snow uh, into Saturday morning as that cold air drains across the, the Lake Erie. But let me tell you, it's going to be in the 20s early Saturday morning. So very cold start to the day, cool finish. High pressure tries to come in and, and give us a little sunshine to start off Mother's Day. But later on Mother's Day, a uh, few showers are going to try to develop. And as it stands, when it comes to snowfall amounts, Pittsburgh, like I said, little to no accumulation. And that's the case for all the lower elevations. Once you get up into those ridges, that's where you see the potential of some grassy accumulations and some accumulations on elevated surfaces. Now, there is a freeze warning for pretty much the entire region because of Saturday morning's very cold temperatures. When you go to bed Friday night, take care of the plants that don't like the cold weather. They'll likely be damaged or killed by temperatures that cold. And that, again, comes with some early flurries on Saturday. Temperatures start to inch up on Mother's Day, 57 degrees there. Some late showers, but the warmer temperatures hold off until Thursday of next week. And with the rain, with the snow, with the freeze warning, get all the latest weather information when you need it on the KDK Weather app. It's available for free in the App Store and Google Play, and all you have to do is search CBS Pittsburgh.